Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock with me, your Let's Player for today, Wolfganger. Now, last time we, uh, <laughs> almost died and we came across a large group of splicers, got a shotgun, ran over my time limit, and got the ability to set people on fire. What more can you ask for in an episode? Uh, today we're going to be doing the usual, and the usual equates to running around areas, booting corpses, hacking anything mechanical that gets in our way, and uh, dealing with the inhabitants of this rundown, rundown little uh, shitty rapture here. Now, I'm going to show you hacking a safe, since I haven't done that yet. As you'll see, the grid is a lot smaller, and I don't know, maybe the pipes are, maybe the flow is a little faster, but one of the one reason I don't like hacking safes is, is the limited space means there's less pipes. Another thing is that oftentimes in later levels, there will be literally no path, like this will be like overload squares or security alerts or something that will prevent you from hooking it up to the end there. But, relatively early in the game, they're still easy, so... Eh. Over here, we have... Let's hit these, there should be some little goodies in them. Of course, that's not the way you're supposed to get them, but... A little testing for pieces here. So, this Dr. Suchon fellow was making this telekinesis plasmid. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. And, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit this. And just sort of. Yes, those little red, the little red propane barrel thing. Yeah, they explode. So you can use them as uh, projectiles. Now, give this way and. Oh god. And we'll almost get a. And we will get shot in the head. I just damaged a machine that was friendly to me. Does that mean it'll... No, I don't know what the attack is. Fine. Alright, so... Stuff appearing out of nowhere is never good. Just grab this really quickly and. But. Don't! Oh, God! Duh! Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh. oh another. I think I'll let you listen to this one too, actually. While I wander. So 
So you'll notice he mentioned a Tenenbaum. She is important to the plot. And what do you know? We've looped around. Oh, a lockbox. Yeah, lockboxes are like despawned corpses of splicers you've killed. Now, there's no way to get in here. You need the Chomper's dental office key. And the only way you can get that is if you use telekinesis to grab it. So there you go. The camera. I'll hack this myself. I actually really like hacking. I think I said that already, but oh well. It doesn't hurt to say it some more. Let's see, I need a uh, down piece. Now these are actually really important pieces. These are resistors. Basically they just, when the, when the flow, as it's called, the liquid, passes through them, it takes them longer to pass through because there's more turns, as opposed to just a normal straight piece. So that, you know, gives you more time to uh, line up a shot to the end. I'll sh see, see it takes a lot much longer. I don't know if you noticed, but oh goodness. skills have gone out the window. Yes! The enemy has triggered the security alarm, which means the infinite sparkies show up and just start shooting things up. Also, During the security alerts, even if the security alerts aren't activated by you, you can pretty much just grab and hack the bots that come to deal with whatever. So just quick hack job here. Let's go there. Part over here. One part here. And one more here. Bam. Now we have a new ally. Shoot things. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Eve hype. Eve hype up. That. Security camera over there. We'll avoid that. Also, you could pick up a surprising amount of things with the uh telekinesis, anything that glows, you can just pick it up, and you don't use that much telekinesis when you throw, uh, you, you don't use that much telekinesis when you throw things with telekinesis, you don't use that much, uh, I just killed my robot friend again, that was lovely, aside from my failure, you'll notice that I didn't use that much E, the little blue bar, when hurling that, uh, Gurney? Is that what those are? Gurneys? So yeah, it's uh, in the beginning it's a pretty effective way to deal with splicers, assuming you can line up and hit them pretty well. What was that? her health, so works pretty well. Just need to, like I said before, be accurate with it. Oh, there's the Vita Chamber. There's your respawn point in case you die. I guess I'm... Okay, I guess I'm going this way. This is a nitro splicer, and as you recall, the telekinesis thing said, and throw them. As such, he throws grenades, and therefore, you can throw them back at him. Whenever anyone wants others to be 
can notice that there are things you can loot around it for a shiny. Oh, I guess we can go this way now. just blabbing about how you need to be beautiful because <coughs> why do we have two eyes is there some law that says we must die two arms two legs two ears two breasts <coughs> this is steinman right here and he just walked off the area great Need to clear the debris. Oh. I can hear that splicer sounding off like it's the fourth of July. The explosives are hard to come by down here. If only you could get your hands on some of them bombs. There you go. Things like that could help you turn the tables or clear up that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlas will just keep talking even though we've already dealt with the little obstruction there. Yeah, you're supposed to when Steinman blocks the path with the debris, you just gotta grab explosives from uh, the nitro splicer. And I think it's the only instance in the game where you could actually do that. It's a little weird. Welcome to the Got some money. Might as well get some money. There's no way to get up there as far as I'm aware. So yeah, Steinman is seeing goddesses in air quotation marks. Yeah, he's gone off the deep end. <laughs> he thinks symmetry is a bad thing now. And so if you've noticed, if you've, if you've been noticing his little uh, pieces of artwork, I guess I should have pointed them out. Yeah, right here. See, he just sort of removes the symmetry from the human face and he considers it to be a you're still Actually, my timer's just about to go off right now, surprisingly, as completely didn't notice it. Uh, I'm just going to hack this really quickly, uh, and I'll see you all next time on Let's Play Bioshock with me, Wolfganger. Now, I just, I need an elbow joint. I need an elbow joint! I need another elbow joint! Okay, bye everybody.